What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another individual skills validation video. Today we're going to be going over an inguinal pressure dressing, right? This is one of the three. We already done the other two, the neck and the axillary. We got our instructor, Sergeant Zuniga here. You know, he's been killing it on all these video guys. So just be sure to show that love in the comment section below. And I do want to say, pay special attention to this one guys, because this one does have a few steps and it's kind of first time doing it for the first time is kind of confusing. I know it was for me and uh, just really want to focus and I'll be going step by step. He'll be performing it. And uh, before we get into the actual video, be sure to like it and comment down below what you're most excited for about being a medic or just what other videos you want to see in the general and also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It really, really helps out. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys? So I'm going to be the casualty for this one because this does require them to have a belt uh, for the most part. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I'll still be reading off of here. So step one is going to be take BSI. So there we go. He's going to expose the injury, assess, and check for an exit wound. Go down. So, yeah. okay. As he sees a wound right here in my inguinal area. He's checking for an exit wound. I see right. no exit wounds. He's going to pack the inguinal wound with combat gauze and verbalize his assistant to hold pressure for three minutes. All right, so he's going to go ahead and pack. If you guys are wondering why it's coming out of his shirt, it's uh, because it frees up your hands and it's just overall more effective than holding the bag in your hand and packing, you know, or just taking the gauze out of the bag and exposing it to the air and things like that. So it's just, it's just something, you know, that you guys can try. But if your instructors tell you not to, then don't do it. You know, at the end of the day, listen to your instructors, what they teach you, because they're going to be the ones that are grading you. And uh, it just, you know, it all, it's up to them. All right, so now that he's done that, uh, he's going to hold pressure for three minutes. And then the evaluator is going to say bleeding has been controlled. And so now that bleeding is controlled, he's going to ensure that the gauze extends one to two inches above the skin. And if it does not, you know, he would continue to place more gauze. And now he's going to flex the casualty's knee slightly. Bam, so my knee is flexed. And now he's going to feed the cravat under the casualty's belt on the lateral side of the injured leg and tape the free running end of the cravat to the lower leg. Guys, you can you hold your gauze? Yep, so I'll hold pressure since I'm still conscious. And watch how he does this. So you can do it like right above the wound or you can do it off a little bit to the side of the wound. Either or uh, works. I typically do it off to the side just because that's what I've always done, but however they teach you, you know? Okay. All right, sweet. So now that's done. And you want to tape the cravat to the leg. We're just not going to do it just because, you know, we're, we're just doing it fast to show you guys, but you tape it just so it doesn't fall off or get in the way or anything like that. So now that he's done that, he's going to ensure the casualty's belt is tight. Tight, yep. Right, and then now he's going to place the elastic bandage over the dressing, leaving a tail. If you guys have watched our previous videos, you guys should know what a tail is at this point. Right, so now that he's done that, he's going to wrap the wound circumferentially, ensuring all packing material is covered and that the elastic bandage over the top of the free running end of the cravat. So he's gonna begin, right? And now step nine says continue to wrap around the wound, wrapping the alternating sides of the tail while maintaining tension, pressure, cover all packing material and secure the dressing by tying a non-slip knot with the end of the elastic bandage and tail. I know that was a lot guys, but just watch and you will understand what I said. If you need to, you know, uh, rewind and listen to that again, feel free to do so. But just watch what he's doing. See how he's going under my leg, making sure no white is showing. Right, and now he's also leaving that tail. There we go. Okay, under that tail. Alternate side. And you see how he's alternating sides, guys? He's going like left and right over the tail to keep it centered. That way when he ties it, it'll pull pressure. And you can see how the ace wrap is over the cravat. That's gonna come into play later. So if the cravat is ever over the ace wrap, just know that you probably skipped a step and you've messed up. But for now, continue to watch. He's gonna now take that end, go under one more time, if at all possible. Yep. I got some big thighs, guys. And now he's going to secure it, right? So he is going to use a non-slip knot while securing. Non-slip knot. There we go. And now he's going to untape the cravat 
uh, from the free running end from the lower leg and he's going to pull the cravat upwards towards my belt and secure it using a non-slip knot and then he's going to straighten my leg. It's right here. Yep. Tension, tension. You here. can actually do it. Yep, so he's gonna pull it real taut, guys. This is supposed to keep the bandage in place and apply that pressure even more. All right, so bam, he cinches it down and he's using a non-slip knot, right? Okay. All right, and now he's going to straighten my leg. And go ahead, you can explain to them what this does. So what it's going to pretty much do is going to grab that gauze and it's going to shove it straight up the artery. Now, like the whole point, it, when you pack your wounds is you want to go like up and towards the heart every single time for here, here, and here. Now in the case for the neck, you kind of want to go down because again, it's going down towards the heart, right? But it's going to be applying that pressure up and in, right? Yeah, like I can feel That's it right need. now, guys. Like it is, it's secure. So now that he's done that, the evaluator is going to say, prepare the casualty for transport. And so the first step after he says that is secure the tails and knots of the elastic bandage and cravat with three inch tape, wrapping a minimum of one and a half times. So now he's going to secure with tape to make sure that this stuff doesn't get in the way, things like that. Doesn't get caught on, let's say, the, uh, the helicopter or the, uh, the metal go evacuation vehicle, uh, whether it be a tank or a, uh, a minor FLA or maybe the, uh, for the helicopter as well. Yep, see how it's taking all that stuff, guys? And now I won't get stuck on anything. And tape is a real bitch with gloves on, guys. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you that right now. So you want to... I, I highly recommend having pre-cut strips of tape already prepared. Right. right, so now that he's secured it, he's going to swap my legs together two to three inches above the knee. All right, find his knees, both right here. Yep. Gonna come around. And what this guy does is adds additional pressure to the pressure dressing that he's already applied. Yep, sweet. And then the last step is continue to assess the wound for further bleeding. Continue to assess the wound for further bleeding. All right, what is up guys? So we just finished the pressure dressing for the inguinal area. I really hope you guys paid attention to that one because it can be a little tricky on your first time. So just something to take note. Again, comment down below what you're most excited for about becoming a medic and also what other videos you want to see. And I need y'all to like this video, support the channel, right? Because we're bringing a whole bunch more 68 Whiskey Combat Medic videos coming your way soon. And also I need y'all to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already because it really helps us out guys. Let's help out all these future 68 Whiskeys. Even even if you're gonna go 11 Bravo, you know, subscribe and like this video because Doc's gonna be your best friend when you're out there. I'll tell you, he's gonna hook it up, he's gonna take care of you. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. I will see y'all in the next one. Later.